Hey again. <clears throat> well, you know, I wasn't really planning on cooking this weekend. I figured that, well, three intergalactic chicken stews in a roll would be a little too much. And It had too much to do, so I figured I wouldn't. But then I noticed that I'm getting low. Only got oh, oh, two or three buckets left. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just make a little um, rice and spaghetti sauce stew. Uh, maybe with some meatballs. Then I realized, oh, can't get meatballs here. Um, <laughs> so, went around and shopped for some ingredients and I got some more spaghetti sauce and I... Well, this is the white rice that my friend, um, Jack Seven, uh, Korean natural language teacher here in Buyo gave me. And it's not just plain white rice, it's the rice that has this like... like a mark on the underside, it's hard to describe, but I got that rice. But I don't like plain white rice that much, so I got some black rice to go with it. And I got some nice red beans to put in there. And I also bought a whole bunch more um, broccoli and carrots and Oh, I got some onions and some uh, vegetables and red pepper, orange peppers and stuff. And some tomatoes to cut up, chives. So, I'm going to use my big pot here and um, it may take longer to uh, cooked and I wanted to take so I guess I better get started. Hey well I've got the water getting ready to boil here and I'm going to chop up some carrots. made a lot of carrot shreds and I'll have to put them in a separate bowl until later. I got a lot of uh, cut up broccoli tops here too, save for later. Alright, now these are the broccoli stems. I think they're mostly good for, you know, fiber and roughage. Now this is interesting. I never knew they could have hollow centers with all these little, um, little air spaces. I did not make these little cuts inside of there. Those are already on the inside before I cut it open. Wow. Alright, now I'm going to cut up the broccoli stems. More of those Voice spaces inside the broccoli. Hmm, wow. Alright, and all of this is shredded broccoli stems waiting to be used. Alright, I finally got the water boiling. And the first thing I'm going to add are the broccoli stem shreds because they're really tough and they take a long time to boil. Yeah, it seems to have stopped boiling, but it's okay. Alright. That's boiling now, so I'm going to add the carrots. Alright, now the carrots, the carrot shreds and the broccoli shreds are starting to 
Uh, boil again. I'm going to add some black rice. Now, black rice is pretty tough, so you, you don't have to worry about boiling it too much, really. Okay, it's boiling again, and um, that black rice is probably going to turn my nice orange carrots black, but eh, who cares about the color? Should be good for me. Alright, I stirred it a bit, and you can kind of see everything's kind of turning black from the rice now, but that's okay. Alright, now I'm going to add the broccoli tops. They're tough, but not as tough as the other stuff, so they go in a little bit later. Alright, I'm going to chop up some ginseng. I flip the blade to chop now. Not too bad. I'm also going to put a bit more water in here so it doesn't get burned. Alright, here goes the uh, ginseng. A little chopped up. All right, now I'm going to cut up some chives. Okay, I'm going to chop up some more here. some more water here in addition to the really strong smell of the chives. It's starting to get some white smoke out here. I think some stuff burned on the bottom but I stirred it. I didn't see any really horrible char from the bottom. I think it's okay. Alright so here are the chives um, added. Got to chop up some of what they didn't cut up so well. Looks good. All right, those chives are pretty strong. Wow. And uh, I'm gonna put in some beans here. Maybe not too many. Not really sure how they're gonna turn out. All right. Somehow I forgot I had another two carrots to grind up. Uh. Maybe I need to get my head screwed on right, huh? Well, uh, they're in there now. All right. Now I've got five bell peppers cut up. Two yellow, two red, and two orange. There's a little grocery store down there that actually does have orange on a regular basis. Uh, I don't remember their name, or I'd give them a plug, but um, you can get orange peppers here. So I got every color except for green. <laughs> All right. Now we have some rainbow colored bell pepper shreds. Yay! Alright, and I got as much of the shreds uh, off the vegetable processor down into the stew as I can. Oh. Now I'm adding the white rice. Huh, I'm running out of room to put on my lid and stuff here. But, uh, uh. Alright, now, <clears throat> here is some frozen Daraji from the freezer that I cut up. I'm going to put in there. 